can't sleep so i'll tell you it's keeping me up at night so have you ever been robbed <laughs> technically i wasn't robbed but my dad was <laughs> So basically, me and my family, we went to Greece, right? My dad had, like, a business trip, and it happened to be, like, the same time I had school vacation or whatever. So we all went, right? And before we got there, everyone that we know that's been to Greece has told us the same thing. They were like, okay, you're going to Athens. If you're going to Athens, don't leave your phone anywhere. Don't leave your purse on the table. Don't, like, you know, don't just have money in your pocket. Like, you're going to get robbed, right? And you might be thinking, like, this is normal. Like, this, you know, the same rule applies to France, London, blah, blah, blah. Do you see a pattern here? They're all European. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You get robbed in the Middle East too, I promise. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, so while we were there, we saw multiple people get like pickpocketed right in front of us, right? And we'd be like, watch out. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. First of all, language barrier, blah, blah, blah. By the time that they realized what we were saying, the guy would have went off, right? So my dad started being like, I don't know. What's the word? The paranoid. <laughs> The day after we saw how many people were getting pickpocketed, I saw my dad put his shoes on for a good 30 minutes. And I was like, Bubba, why are you taking 30 minutes to put your shoes on? This is insane. He was stuffing them with money. <laughs> like, I can't. And I was just like, Bubba, like, first of all, that's not comfortable. Second of all, it's summer. So it's going to be like, you know, you don't even discuss stink. It's going to smell like shit a little bit. Like, what do you mean? And he would be like, no, money is money. Money is money. Who cares? Who cares? You're telling me in a hundred euro, they're going to just be like, oh, no, it stinks. It's exactly what they did. <laughs> we went to a restaurant and we were big, And the guy literally goes, uh, do you have other... Uh <laughs> Obviously, when that happened, my dad was, like, a little bit embarrassed. So he, like, you know, goes to the bathroom real quick, takes out all the money, puts it in a little, like, you know, cross-body bag situation. And he was just like, okay, we're set. Let's go. And as we were leaving the restaurant, I see a subway station. Now, I've never seen a subway station my entire life because I grew up in the Middle East, right? I was like, Baba, Mom, can we please go use the subway? Like, I feel like it's going to be, like, a movie scene. Like, it's going to be so fun. Like, it's going to be such an interesting experience. None of us have ever been on the subway. My mom goes like, no, I've been one in, I've been to one in London. I was like, okay, no one asked. Sarah, I'd like I managed to convince them. We go downstairs. We go into the subway. We go into one of the carts. All the seats are taken. So we just end up standing, right? We were the only ones standing. The first stop goes fine. You know, my dad tripped a little bit, but nothing crazy. He gave me a little one of these, but it's fine. And then on the, on the second stop, it was rush hour, right? And that was bad. Now, all of a sudden, all these people like rush in, blah, 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 blah. My mom grabs me, and then my dad gets pushed all the way to the back, right? And my parents both have never experienced a rush hour in a subway, right? Now, my dad's a little bit tall, so he's like, I just want you to picture it, right? Imagine this sea of people in the subway and then my dad just like a little bit taller right and all you see is him going, <laughs> all you see is him going like this means i'm gonna fuck you up when i get home <laughs> would take breaks in between his little this to be like this he'd be like Allah adimni yakum Allah adimni yakum Allah Allah adimni it literally means god disconnect me from you <laughs> Cut ties, cut everything, fuck off from me, basically. Then it just got a little bit worse because he started yelling at us from across the subway, but in Arabic, being like, if I don't understand these people, they pack themselves up like sardines and they all smell like shit, they don't have AC, they don't have anything. Allah if I'm in a, they're so disgusting, God, oh my God, <laughs> like that type of shit, right? Now, I feel like at this point, everyone got the vibes. They didn't understand what he was saying, but they understood what he was saying. Do you get what I mean? So when we got out, um... <laughs> After we get out, we get into a taxi and he drops us off, whatever, and it's time to pay. And my dad opens his bag and there's no money. There's no money whatsoever. He's like, Bebo, and I'm Bebo. He's like, Bebo, did you take the money? And I was like, no, 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 I didn't. I didn't. He's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you check your socks? <laughs> Looked at me and he was like, Allah, dimni yak yak. You know, moral of the story, if you're a tourist in a different country, just don't maybe yell in your native language so you don't literally tell the entire nation pickpocket me. You know what I mean? Just be a little bit quiet.